Hello, everyone. Um, this isn't really my testimony. It's more of Melody's testimony. Um, when me and Nigel first got together, we decided to have a baby between us because we had children of our own, separately. And it didn't go to plan at first. We lost six babies trying to, to have, have a baby. And then we found out we were pregnant for Melody. And we went for a scan at the local hospital because, because of the history, we had to be scanned every two weeks. And on this particular scan, the um, scan lady, she said that Melody's, half of Melody's brain was missing, half her esophagus, um, lungs, lungs weren't developed, and I can't remember, something else. Something else, quite, yeah. And basically they told us to go away and decide whether we wanted to terminate the pregnancy or not. So we, we were back in church at this point, and we were really shocked, and we were too shocked to tell anybody, we did, because we thought this was it, this is, this is our time. So we, we went back home, didn't say anything, didn't say anything to our church, and at that time was the Benny Hinn um, conference in Norwich at the football ground. So we went for the three nights expecting our miracle, expecting to be called for an altar call or someone to say to us, you know, and we, we specifically didn't tell anybody um, because we wanted a miracle from God, and we were looking for that. And nothing happened. We didn't have an altar call. No, and we were both like, what, why God? Why is, why is this? You know, this is the seventh time. We need, we need some clarification for you. We need some help. So that, not, that uh, Sunday night was our regular um, church night because we used to go to the evening services in Norwich. So we went along and it happened to be um, Henry Hinn, who's Benny Hinn's brother, preaching at our church. And the church was absolutely packed. There must have been over a thousand people there. It was packed. So we went just, ex- well, we, we, I don't think either of us were really expecting a merry call at that point. I thought we'd, you know, we'd lost our chance sort of thing. So we went and we sat at the back and there's all these people there. And towards the end of the service, um, Henry Hinn said, there's two people here. There's a couple that I need to speak to. And everyone was like, oh, head down, don't want to be, to, to be us sort of thing. So... He, he said to his usher, I want you to go towards the back of the room. So he kept walking back. And he said, no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. And he said, there, stop there, go along the line to the middle. So he came along, and it was us. And he called us forward to an altar call, and he said to us, I just want you to know that the baby is completely healed. And at that point, nobody knew that we, could, that we were pregnant. So it was, it was quite a miracle. So we, went, we had another appointment on the following Tuesday to have another scan and tell them what we decided and when we went there Melody was completely healed and I just want to thank God for that because now we've got lovely Melody